guys welcome to my channel my name is asa big joe i'm a youtuber based in abuja nigeria i film content based on family lifestyle living in abuja motherhood and everything good if you're a new subscriber to my page thank you for subscribing thank you for stopping by thank you for the love and the support from the last video i made i noticed i had lots of subscribers welcome to the family guys thank you and for my returning subscribers ogs two fingers in the air for you guys thank you for always clicking on my videos each time you get notified there are some people that immediately i dropped that video they must watch i'm super grateful i'm so thankful for you guys thank you for the support thank you for the love it has been overwhelming and you are the ones that make me want to put out more videos want to do more videos even with the little time i have i still want to come out and show up thank you guys so after the last video i made i got like three or four comments on um, instagram and on my youtube here it's asking me how i got to lighten my scar what i did to be able to get my scar to look like this so i thought to share so if this is what you if this is what you want to listen to stick around i'll be right back guys um sorry for the break i had to go and attend to my son you he heard his voice earlier so i think he needed something so i had to attend to him so on the video on um the routine i did after i finished um but after i finished from the hospital they had some plasters and some stuffs on the bandage stuffs on the on the wound so they gave me um the mazine cream i'll be putting up the picture here for you to see for me to be rubbing on it and they also told me to um be cleaning it once in a while so thankfully and thanks to god i have a doctor as a partner who was always helping me to clean the wound so from time to time make sure that the wound is not infected so i kept on rubbing the demazine cream after i removed the um, plaster i was always rub rubbing the mazine cream on the wound because it had a black slab on the on the injury so i was always rubbing the mazine cream so what i did is in the morning if i rub them i did the mazine cream in the night i will rub honey honey is also a natural um they be more you see the mazine cream it helps to remove that um that big stuff that that Oh, I don't know what to call it. That's cover on the wound. So I was always rubbing it every day. So one day I noticed the stuff fell out on his wound and I saw um, a scar there. So I started looking for what am I going to do to lighten the scar. I didn't want any chemical, any nyamanyama things. I didn't because it's my face, you know. So I didn't want anything that would spoil this, you know, God give it beauty. And for that period of time, I was not coming out. I didn't want any sun exposure. I didn't want anything. The only thing I did then was to go and take my NYSC certificate then because that was the period I passed out. So what I did was I continued rubbing the honey. I ate lots and lots of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Eggs has its way of, you know, eggs contain protein now. It has a way of going to you know renew the dead cells from inside you know helping it heal from inside when my husband had given me that trick and though it was something else that they imagine eating five egg at a go but i was doing it just for the wound healing so i ate a lot of egg it helped me welcome back guys um sorry <laughs> my son was disturbing so i had to go and get him so as i was saying when the wound was fully healed um, my husband checked it thank god for him he checked it um 
and then um, told me okay the wound is healed now so after the wound got healed the next thing i did was um to get abubeke um ibos they call it um yes it was called it abubeke english it's um, called python fat so i got python fat i think i'll remember the name and the number of the person that i got it from and now just put it just in case anybody needs it or i'll just put it in the description box down below this boy is not annoying me i'll just put it in the description box down below so when i got the python fats i kept on massaging it on the um, area where i had the scar the smell of that thing is not here so just prepare yourself but since i had um my results in view wow. i didn't mind i just kept massaging it every morning after bath i'll keep massaging it with the python fat i kept massaging it then in the night when i want to sleep i'll massage it too so i continued doing that every time every time every time i started noticing visible changes guys i won't lie it was healing up then my problem now became how to lighten it up because when it started healing it started leaving dark um, marks some scars leaves dark marks while some of them leave lighter ones so it depends on your body how your body is so mine was leaving dark marks some some scars even starts forming keloids and if you have keloids that python fat, fat works very well for keloids so mine i was lucky enough it was just making my so that um, part of my face darker so when it started becoming darker, I now had to go and get um, um, bio oil. Bio oil is well known worldwide, worldwide. So I got bio oil after massaging it with um, Python fat. I will now use the bio oil. Let me tell you guys, some scars are very stubborn. So it's not when after using it for, let me say, one month or two weeks and you don't see much changes you start complaining no just be patient you know be patient because this thing is it's from the surface of your skin and you know that's almost tough part of your skin it's very thick so you just have to be patient with it with time it will go but just keep be just be consistent i'll tell you that it's going to go keep being keep doing it keep rubbing it and you you just you, if if you look at it very well you will notice that with time it's to it start fading away so while doing that um keep up with your nutrients keep up with your protein intake there are some that will start forming keloids don't be discouraged just continue rubbing it you start seeing the keloids shrinking like um where the uh, glass hits me at my back it started forming keloids a little I was always dropping it there and I'll show you guys it's no longer there it has already gone completely so if it works for me I'm very sure it works for you because my skin is both keloidal and my skin is also thick like I have a very sensitive skin so if it works for me I'm very sure it's going to work for you so just keep up at it keep rubbing it then um, continue eating eggs continue taking proteins food that contains proteins take your um, vegetables you know don't just dwell on it remove your mind from it i know it can be depressing especially if it's in a visible part of your body you know i remember at that point i was so bitter i didn't want to go anywhere i didn't want to go out you know even where, when i bob my hair i didn't want to do anything sorry sorry guys Today I'm filming with this boy, so you guys have to take it as it is. <laughs> take it as it is. So I was just doing everything possible to get my um, nutrients from inside because you know your skin is also inside. You have the dermis and epidermis people that went to school. <laughs> so I just continued to do that. It's well, it's healthy, and before you know it, I, I, I even removed my mind from it. It was just one day my husband told me, I see your sky is clearing out though. I said, hey, are you sure? And I looked and yeah, I, was, I could see visible changes, you know. 
don't apply so much um product on it just just leave it you know that one you're applying is already okay if it has healed keep up with the python fats keep up with the bio oil bio oil helps very well for scars even if you're pregnant and you have um cs you've done cs that's also a scar you know and um it also helps if you don't if you don't want it to show if you want to remove the whole scar completely it helps so just continue doing it like that and i'm very sure you see visible results you come back here with baskets of testimonies so guys we've come to the end of this video please subscribe to this channel um help me grow my channel i'm giving you content for free so please the best you can do for me is just to subscribe turn on the notification bell just beside the subscribe button so that each time i post a new video you'll be notified please share this video to anybody you know that will need this video that will need to know or that needs this knowledge give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have a scar or if you've done something about your scar in the past and what works for you you can also share it here so that other people can learn from it until next time guys see you bye can i say bye 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 see you see you, see you. <laughs>